thanks to TotallyDazzle.com for sponsoring me and providing me with these super sparkly brooches and neck and ring holders to use in this video. I think it would be quite a nice touch for anybody who's planning a wedding onto your party favors. The rentals are delivered quickly and safely by Totally Dazzled. I don't really like waiting for things to come in and mail, especially when it's a project I'm doing, so that was a big plus. And if you don't end up liking the rhinestones for any reason, Totally Dazzled does offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee, but I don't see why wouldn't you be happy with these because they're absolutely gorgeous and beyond my expectations. I wanted to create a cookie that was sort of fancy, but at the time simple enough for a bride to recreate. Because I'm pretty sure brides already have enough on their minds. So I just really love these adorable mini cookie cakes, or stat cookies. I'm not sure how I'm going to call them yet. Hopefully by the time I'm done editing everything, I'll think of a name. Measure out all the ingredients. We'll first be making the cookie dough. Cream together the butter and the sugar. Add the egg and vanilla. 3 cups of all-purpose flour, baking powder, and the salt. Scrape the bowl whenever necessary. Roll this in between the parchment paper or cell pad mat. Roll it out flat. I rolled this onto a half sheet tray. Saran wrap and refrigerate for 20 to 30 minutes. This makes it easier to cut out. Using a cookie cutter, cut the dough in different sizes for each cake tier. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 to 12 minutes or until lightly golden. Measure out the ingredients for a royal icing. Whisk together the egg whites, cream of tartar, and powdered sugar. If it's stiff like this, add a few drops of water until it's the right consistency to pipe lines. Color it with any color you like, or you could even leave it white. Outline each cookie before filling it with icing. And using a toothpick, just very lightly smooth it out in small circles. Once the cookies have dried, stack them together like cake tears, gluing it with the extra icing. Glue on the pearls. You could pipe pearls onto the cookies, but I feel like that's a piping skill that even I don't have, so I'm sticking to these sprinkles. Now that your cookies are ready, you can start packaging them. I got a, quite a few choices here. I really like how Totally Dazzled had such a big selection on rhinestones, and the prices were pretty good compared to other sites. This box alone is already quite beautiful, but I want to add a touch of lace, and I'm just gluing it onto the box. And pinning this brooch onto the lace. I have here this clear party favor container and using this adhesive lace tape that saves so much time around the container and adding a touch of bling to complete the look. This box is rather plain so again using my lace tape I'm just going to add a touch of lace onto the corner and I thought it'd be a nice touch to add this pearl rhinestone into the center of this fake flower gluing it onto the box. If you really don't feel like gluing things together, just attach a brooch onto an already decorative party favor bag. I think it's really nice to have these brooches for guests to take a little something extra home, so it's sort of multi-purpose in a way. I have this little box. I think it's meant to store things, but my friend showed me that this could be a nice way to showcase the cookies. Comment below which of these favorite ideas is your favorite. I feel like they're all adorable really. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, ask them down below. Follow me on my social media sites. Be sure to watch my previous video, and bye!